Saturday. Welcome. Hmm, let's see. 3,512 miles. He's driven at 12 miles since I last drove it. Because I had hit 3,500. Once I put it in gear, and I'll stop hyperventilating here. Somebody said that was for emissions. I guess that makes sense. That higher RPMs would yield cleaner emissions or something during a cold, inefficient startup. As you can see, it's raining. The M5 is not here. It's 11.40. We're going to go grab some uh, some brunch. Or at least for me, it's brunch. For them, it's damn near dinner. So it's been like a long time and we did stuff this afternoon and it sucks. It's been raining all day and it's been very boring, but we've, we're getting a couple things done in there. Anyways, waiting for them to come down now. We're going to dinner soon. They're still getting dressed, whatever. So I'm out here in the car and I'm going to ask your uh, opinion, advice on something. So the 2012 Genesis has uh, this stuff in here. It's got a 3.5 millimeter input, which is really nice right there. So you throw in your auxiliary cable and play your music, and then it has a powered USB port right there, right? So I plug in the USB cable to my phone right here, iPhone 5, iOS 7, Beta 3. Now, that is not the problem, because I on iOS 6 and well, whatever I got when I had the car, iOS 5 and the iPhone 4S, it did the same thing. Uh, so we're plugged in, the key's in, the engine's off, and no accessories are on, I just turned on the lights in here. So if I press the key once, you hear that? So that's in like accessory mode. If I start the engine, engine's on, it does that. Just constant powered and non-powered state, it totally freaks out. It doesn't even know what to think of itself. I mean, it, it thinks it's being plugged in and unplugged so rapidly. You see the icon change up there. What does that mean? What causes that? It's dicked and it pisses me off because I want to charge my phone, but I can't. So maybe if we unplug it and it stops that and then we plug it back in now that the car's on, maybe it's a more constant rate of power. Starts the exact same thing. All right, well, let's go into the system here. There's a auxiliary mode. Uh, scanning USB, please wait. So it's trying to figure out if it knows how to talk to a, an iPhone here. He's coming out, so hopefully it... Connected USB device is not supported. But come on, it's a freaking iPod. They've been the same technology now for God knows who long, how long. It just pisses me off. This is a 2012 car and it doesn't know how to play an iPhone. It's been a long time again. I slept 3 hours and 15 minutes last night. I got up early. It's now 2.29 in the morning, and I'm still going. I don't know how I do that. I'm, I'm in, like, reserve power day two. Anyways, I got tonight a little bit. Didn't do anything spectacular. Uh, I got the car out, of course, and uh, we got a little bit of rain, actually. Not too bad, not too bad. Didn't need a full wash, but I did do a full wash. It's been uh, probably since April or May since I've actually mixed a bucket of car soap and washed it. So that's what we did. Uh, it's probably good for the seals. Nothing else. For the seals, tires and stuff to see water. So they got that. I did a full job. I did a full wash, full dry Z8 over the whole car. Did the windows, exhaust, floor mats, wheels, tires, tire shine. It's as clean as it's been now since I probably completed the whole clay bar thing back several months ago. So I'm feeling good about that. Destroyed my back. I probably look like a question mark right now. But everything's really nice, and it's going to stay that way now, because I'm not going to drive it until, like, August. No. But I'm going to go in now and edit this together. I'm sorry, today probably sucks, because we didn't really do anything. It rained most of the day. I didn't even have the car out until uh, evening. So there's all my towels that will have to be washed tomorrow. And I'll talk to you tomorrow on Sunday. I don't think it's supposed to rain. We may or may not hit the pool. 
three years ago today, this car saw this garage for the first time, backed in right here with the Ferrari over here. I'll put a few picture, pictures in at the end of this clip at the end of the video. Um, and the, I updated my E39 source article today about the car. You know, when you go to E39source.com under the family, that thing that says Ryan's 2000 BMW M5, well, I updated that with a few photos, a little bit of text, nothing too crazy, but go check that out if you're bored. So three years. It's a completely different car now than it, than it was before. And there's actually going to be an E39 source video, hopefully tomorrow, weather and time permitting. I, I want to do that soon. Um, going over that and kind of doing, well, I'm going to take some requests that I had on the channel, some popular requests. So we'll do that. Stay tuned. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It'll be a nice day. It'll be Sunday. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. We'll talk tomorrow. Good night.